Hi everyone, this is Robin and I am going to do a voiceover for this scrapbooking page titled I Want Some of This and That. It's my daughter Rachel. Uh, she was, I believe, seven years old and this child could eat some seafood. In fact, anytime we took her out, we had to take them to an all-you-can-eat restaurant and it was something special to do when my parents were here visiting. Dad would treat us to the Fisherman's Wharf. And it was a place where it was like $25 a plate. And I think for kids, it was like 13 or something for the all you can eat. And, you know, the waitresses are like, are you sure you want to pay that for her? And I'm like, trust me, this child will eat her body full and then some. So it was a special treat for Rachel. And um, I'm using my April Scraptastic kit. Um, this paper here is from the Teresa Collins line, and I'm just taking my vintage rose chalk ink that I got as a free gift with my Scraptastic for ordering two months in a row, and I am outlining um, that with the vintage rose. And then I will also be using knotted wood. I, I went ahead and cut out some circles ahead of time so you wouldn't have to watch me, but with this knotted wood, I'm just hitting it here and there. So it's a mix of the brown and the pink. And the look is really cute. I like it a lot. So with Rachel, she would eat so many crab legs. Like, so she was seven, Shelby was five, and Carlton was three. And, you know, with little ones and going through the line with one, and then you go through the line with the other. And, you know, of course, Eric's helping, but um, he's not sure what they like and what they don't, you know, so that's pretty much mom's job, I think. And um, Rachel, just by the time I would get done cracking her some crab legs, I would be able to get to the other two, help them with whatever they wanted. By the time I sat down, she was ready for more. So, you know, it takes some time. And finally, this time I'm like, child, you're going to have to learn how to crack your own crab legs because you just eat too many of them. And, you know, I would never, everybody was done eating by the time I finally got to eat my plate. Well, I wasn't the only one. Rachel was still going. So um, this restaurant was owned by a family in Virginia, and they also had a, a restaurant called County Line and Grill, and it's still there, and um, it's barbecue, and it's fabulous. In the Hampton Roads area, there's a couple different um, areas. In, there's Hampton. I think they have one in um, oh Newport News. Oh, but it's the best barbecue ever. I love it. And um, so sadly, they don't have this Fisherman's Wharf restaurant anymore. But when we when we would go to County Line and Grill, Rachel would order the full rack of, of baby back ribs. And the waitress would be like, that's really a big rack. You know, it, it goes over the platter. And I'm like, trust me, she's going to eat it all. So the waitresses would walk by and just smile, looking at this little girl with barbecue sauce from ear to ear, and she would finish the, not only the whole rack of her ribs, but everything that came with it. So she was a dancer and her metabolism's just on high all the time. But I told her, I said, <laughs> I said, Rachel, you are so expensive. I said, you're going to have to marry someone rich one day. You know, I was just messing around with her. And she said, no, I'm not. I'm going to make my own money. And I'm like, <laughs> It just made me laugh, and I'm like, you go, girl. Okay, you make your own money. Well, it's a good thing because she loves steak and seafood and all this stuff that, you know, she's just a little top shelf kind of girl. But um, it was always so fun to watch her, watch her eat. Um, so basically, I just took my different size circle stamps. I think I had a three and a half, a two, and a one inch. And I... <clears throat> use some of the scraps that I've, I've made so far with this April scrap test, or I'm sorry, yeah, April, April, yes, April scrap tastic kit. And um, I just decided to, uh, I did ink the edges, but I did not outline them this time. I know, I know, I always outline, but you know, I'm just trying to shake things up. I'm a wild woman. So <laughs> anyway, uh, I just, started moving them around and um, lightly layering them here and there, different patterns, different sizes, and I decided to pop up her picture. And I wanted to use this die cut that we got in the kit. It's called This and That. And when I first got it, I'm like, what am I going to, how am I going to use this? And I just happened to be looking through the pictures. I saw this one and I could hear her saying, 
Mama, I want some of this. Can I have some of that too? Can I have some strawberries? Oh, because that's another thing she's in love with, strawberries. And lobs that lobster casserole thing they had there was phenomenal. And um, she would eat everything, absolutely everything. I decided not to spray mist this title. I decided to use my paintbrush with my mists. And the green is kind of a light teal, so I go with my Heidi Swap teal. But then once I put it back onto the layout, um, I realized that it's too blue and I needed more green. So I um, went over it again with the Heidi Swap Mint and it turned out lovely. And I'm using the letters from the April kit as well. And the word sum is used with those cardboard um, thickers and they don't really have um, a coloring on them so I did some with coloring them in with my Heidi Swap mist oh here I am going over with the uh, mint color and I like that so much better and it, it matched the greens perfectly you'll see in the in the photos at the end or in the beginning but um, I didn't like how the word some looked like with the mists so what I did was I tried to go over them with my gelatos and I was just making a, a mess. So I just took the word some again with fresh letters and used my gelato, that uh, salmon color one there, the coral, and it was beautiful. So I just, um, you know, drew on them and then I used my finger to smudge them out uh, to make sure the whole letter was covered and it worked beautifully. So with these letters, I am either going to emboss them or use my gelatos on them. Um, I could also use my Versamark, my ink pens, um, but I just fell in love with the way the gelatos looked. So I just used a couple strips of paper along the side. This, this layout really flew together uh, rather quickly for me. I do struggle a little bit with placement of my embellishments here. That's a flare that says, hey girl, I ordered it from Two Peas. And then um, I used from the ephemera pack, there I was looking for the uh, rounder elements, except for that one there I put on the um, photo. It says my fave because she's eating all of her favorite foods here. <laughs> um, but some of the other ones say, uh, so you and seriously and really and so crazy because that's just the looks people would give her when they would see this child and the amounts of food she would put away. And yes, yeah, she is still that thin. <laughs> she, she is now, how tall is she? She is, I don't know, five, six, five, six and a half. And um, she said she's gained the freshman 15, even though she's a sophomore in college. Um, I don't know where because she looks just the same. Uh, she doesn't dance anymore. Her She's a bioinformatics major, and it's pretty intense. So she's all about uh, her studying. She also belongs to a sorority, and they do a lot for the community. And so she's busy with that. So um, unfortunately, she doesn't have time to dance much right now, but it is something she enjoys doing. Um, ballet primarily. She loves lyrical, tap, jazz, um, hip-hop. She was always very flowy, and her teacher would always call her hip-hop arena because she was more like a ballerina. <laughs> Then looking like she could do the hip hop and be funky. Uh, I don't know. I think she'd be able to pull it off a little bit more now than when she was younger. But um, anyway, this page was hilarious and so much fun to make. And I sent her a picture of it right away and she started laughing and she goes, I love it. Are you going to make me one for my book? And I'm like, of course, you ask me that every time. But, um, you know, little memories like this, I can still see her being this age. And that is just so surreal to me. I swear, I love scrapbooking, but sometimes it makes me sad <laughs> when I look back on my babies. But, you know, in the future, I'll get to scrapbook, um, you know, hopefully, possibly one day when they're ready. Grandchildren, um, uh, yeah, I'm going to totally have them at my house, spoil them rotten and send them home. That's going to be me. But uh, anyway, I hope you get some inspiration from this. Um, I really, really enjoyed making it. And, you know, with a circle punch, it's so easy to do. And it's just whatever pleases your eye. I don't even think I used any mists here. So, um, you know, if you're new to scrapbooking and don't have a lot of supplies, 
you know, this is a great way to use your scraps as well. You can buy your uh, punches like at Michael's with 40% off coupon or online or something like that. They're a lot of fun and there's so many different things you can do with them. So thank you so much for joining me and I will talk to you on the next video. Take care everybody and have fun creating. Bye.